All right, so how are you all? Um, I hope you're all well. In this video here, we're going to be talking about um, farming. Um, it's going to be an advanced tutorial. Um, there's going to be a lot of stop and start, but um, hopefully uh, you guys can have a good visual on what it is I'm about to do. Now, <clears throat> I've just robbed this farm here. I've got three farms. I've got cargo. That there is my cash. And I've got my arms. Um, those are the three farms I use. I have been building up this farm here as another cargo. But um, I haven't robbed it yet. Simply because I'm waiting for it to get to Mansion 20. And that's only on to Mansion 19 at the moment. Now before you rob anything, there's a couple of things that you need to do. So the first thing is your equipment. Okay. That's the best roadster. Why? Because it's got a resource gathering load when attacking a turf. 50% buff. All right, now your shoes, um, that doesn't really matter because shoes don't show any sort of buff. But what you're looking for here is the crew load. So the fancy jeans, you've got a double crew load there. Um, this lavish tux, it's got a, um, a, a double crew load there. Um, over here, the silver necklace, level 25, it's got a double crew load, again, and, uh, my gun there, it's got a crew load there, I'm sure that there's another double in the gun, but I'm, yeah, again, uh, this is what I've got set up, um, and this is my crew load here, so, with all that being said, that is my crew load, now, um, this video is going to come into two parts, but I want to show you something, so, before I spy, I always just change my road stuff. And I just double check and have a look <coughs> at my at my farm. Okay, so what have I got here? So that's that's its number. So own, not collected. Um, those numbers there are telling you what you can rob. Okay, and I know that uh, oh, there's a, the durability is full. There's no reinforcements, etc., etc. Now I'm going to stop this video. Um, I'm going to do a second recording now. I'm going to jump into my farm account and I'm going to show you something. I want you to remember those numbers over here. So you've got cargo at 25 million, about 26 mil. Um, there's a million there that's not gathered. Look at the not gathered um, and the owned. Um, and I'm going to show you all how to just make those numbers go through the roof. Okay. All right. Bear with me. All right. Welcome to my farm. So now here, um, again, everything's idled. All I do here is gather. That's it. Um, now, I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to do. Um, my resource buildings are on level 20. Nearly all of them, except for the cash in the middle. Uh, I'm going to go into my items. Buffs. I'm going to use all. Oh, well, I've got to activate that. That's actually quite important. You want to make sure that the VIP is activated because in the activation, I believe there is a resource um, resource production is plus twenty five percent. Okay, so that's a very very big positive. Make sure you do that. Use all. Use all of that. Use all of that. Use all of that. Now, if you don't know where to get these boosts and buffs from. Um, your smuggler or your clan store, you can pick them up versus street forces, I believe, etc, etc. Now, now that that's done, all of those resources have been buffed up, okay? Now, I'm also going to hit my skills, my shakedown. Boom. Now we've got a lot more resources. Once that's done, and I know that there are no troops here in this section here, there's nothing there. All right, cool. Now I'm ready to switch and rob my farm. Make sure you do it in that sort of order. This is a cargo farm. Um, you know, we can see the numbers, whatever. Let's rob it now. I'm going to just show you the spy report. Um, and then you guys can take it from there. <coughs> okay, so bear with me. Oh, then we're back into my main account now. Now, I know that I haven't switched the Roadstar yet, so I can spy. It won't cost me any money. I'm going to go over here, I'm going to spy. Perfect. Now, have a look at my numbers now. Look at the difference. I had 25 million owned cargo, not collected, 1 million, 27 now, to 2 million, 500,000 cash, a million cash. Oh look, I only had 30 cash. Like, do you see the difference there, guys? 
See, that's a big difference. That will work all the time. It's just, you know, uh, one of those things. Um, and now when I rob this bad boy, I'm going to attack it with my load. This is the load option. It's not an attacking option. It's not a prioritized crew option. It's a load. And you can tell because the truck over here says 5 million. Okay, so I will attack that. Then I will attack it again. And then I will attack it again. Now the only reason I'm attacking it three times is because I've got two other ops that are currently gathering. So, with that being said, if you have a look at my resources, you can tell the difference when I actually really start robbing my resources. Now I don't rob my resources every day. Um, I don't think it's, you know... I don't feel as though you have to rob your resources every single day. If you have three farms, that's enough. You can hold on to those uh, farms. You don't have to rob them all the time. You can let it save, save and save. And, and you know, throughout time, you will get <coughs> um, a build-up of resources. The main thing is that you, should, you shouldn't upgrade your clan. Oh, you're not your clan. You shouldn't upgrade your vault. So your individual vault in your farm, don't upgrade that too much. Because the more you upgrade that, the more protected resources your farm has got. You don't want your farm to own protected resources. You want your farm to have vulnerable resources and resources that can be robbed. Okay, if they're in the vault, you can't rob them. So what you do is, when you've got those resources inside your vault, <coughs> you use them to upgrade your mansion. Um... I, I, I strongly suggest you have a level 20 mansion um, try and max out your production hubs and focus on production resources um, rather than your gathering speed in your farms it's as simple as that now look I've only robbed it a few times <coughs> see so you know it's not really getting much starting to build up a little bit there a little bit there a little bit there you know so it does take a little while um but, I mean, I'd rather do this than constantly be trying to gather for the amount of resources that I'm going to get. Um, time difference, I don't know, it's probably about equal to or the same. Um, but, it, you know, it frees up your own mansion. You want to do street forces or things like that. Your farm should be collecting all the time. Alright, so, anyway, um, I'm just going to keep attacking here. Um, hopefully, you know, you guys are... Uh, Enjoy this video, um, this will help you out a lot, if you do it exactly like I told you to, you know, you can get a lot of resources from your farms, just, you know, don't focus on power or anything like that, just focus on your production, you know, so if it's a cargo farm, make sure that whatever level your mansion's on is the same level your cargo hubs are on, you know, again, if it's a cash one and if it's an arms one. Uh, and you can always change them, you know, you can change them with skill, leader points around, um, but that, you know, if you have trouble doing that, ask me, and I'll, and I'll, I'll show you how to do it, no problem at all, um, I had a special request to do a VIP, um, SVIP, how to grow that, so stay tuned, and, um, I will definitely be doing another one, <clears throat> so I just wanted to try and finish this up, I know it's taking a little bit long, um, and that's another thing, th th these are long videos, I I'm not going to sit here and, and make a five minute video for something that, you know, it's going to be fucking pointless using, you know, if, if you want to play the game, you're going to require time, patience, effort, energy, it's going to take a long time, you know, um, that's why I'm making long videos, because a lot of the things, uh, the game, the whole game, it it's, it's an overlay, you know, the, the game itself just, it's, it's, you know, got so many layers, so this is the most complex game I've ever played. Uh, in terms of, you know, statistically, um, strategically, you know, there's a lot of thought that goes into it. Um, so yeah, like, you know, you, 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 there's a lot to learn in this game. It's not just a, a, a quick smash them up. Let's see if I can get that. Oh la la, Morning City. It's a good friend of ours. <clears throat> I won't get that just yet because I've got an abundance of gold. I really don't need it. I'll let the guys get it. <clears throat> Alright, so we're nearly done here. 
What have I done now? So there's another four there. Look, I've still got 2.5 million cargo that I've just collected. You see what I mean? Like, that's that's some big cargo there. And how long was I gathering for? I really don't know. Um, the way I time this is I've got kill event coming up. So it's a three-day kill event. So I want to empty out all my farms before the kill event starts. Why? Because, well, fuck someone else getting my resources, right? <laughs> you know? So anyway, look, I, I hope that, uh, again, this video has helped you out a lot. Um, if you have any questions, please ask. Stay tuned. I'm going to set up a special VIP, SVIP, how to um, grow there. Um, but be patient, guys. Please be patient. Have fun. And uh, God bless. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And uh, stay tuned for more. All right. I know I said goodbye, but um, I figured this was just as important as well. This is my farm. It's on fire. Okay. You need to save up gold or have some sort of gold. To stop that burn now it's very important that you do this because um where my farm is positioned it's actually in my hive in my main account my main clan hive um so yeah that, that's uh <clears throat> you should put at that fire because your burn um is increased by about 600 percent and on top of all that yeah, you, 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 you don't want your durability going down too much simply because if it does go down too much, then you're fucked. You, you know, it, it'll, it'll send you somewhere else where you don't want to go if your durability does run really, really low. I always love to be safe rather than sorry. Um, and just here, look, on another quick note, when, when you're in a farm, if you've got a farm clan, um, your clan investments and your clan properties, so let me just run down through this real briefly. In your clan properties, you're focusing on production. I mentioned that before. So, when you, the more you guys contribute to these particular items, the better your production will be inside your farm. Now, idealistically speaking, your farm should also be into a farm hive. Okay. So we haven't done that, um, probably, we've moved hives fucking, like, I don't know how many times, but anyway, decide the point, if your farm is, let's just say that was inside the farm, in the blue line there, if it's just a little bit in there, that's fine, um, yeah, so the whole point of that is, it gets an extra buff in production, okay, so... You know, if you don't want your farm so close to you, um, uh, yeah, that's the best way to do it. So your your farm account should be inside that hive there, somewhere inside here. Um, and then to rob it, you would obviously get a lot more buffs and production. Okay, so that's in your activity. All right, guys, um, I'm going to stop it there. Again, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I'll see you soon.